If you want to thank Allah for him being born and thank Allah for sending him, etc., follow his sunnah. Don't go against his sunnah for 364 days of the year. And then on that one night when you gather with your boys in the masjid and you put your favorite salwar kameez on and you put your favorite thob on and you want to be all holy, you go to the masjid and then you act like you are the only one who loves him. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. You spit in the face of his sunnah for 364 days of the year. And then for one day, for one night, for a few hours, you become a lover of the messenger. This is ridiculous how shaitan has got you fooled, my brother. How shaitan has got you misled and he has beautified for you your actions. And your actions are leading you nowhere but the fire of Jahannam and they're not leading you closer to Allah. Because had they been good and had there been goodness in it, Abu Bakr would have beaten you to it. Radiyallahu an. Had there been goodness in it, Umar would have beaten you to it. Had there been goodness in it, Uthman would have beaten you to it. Had there been goodness in it, Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, all of those companions, they would have beaten you to it. You come now 1440 odd years after living in the West and barely waking up for Fajr on time, going against so many actions in the Sunnah. You don't even know the adhkar for the day and for the night. You don't even know what to do before you have intercourse with your wife. You don't even know what to say when you buy a new shirt, the dua for putting the new shirt on. You don't even know the dua, what to say when you finished eating your food. You don't even know this. And then you want to go and bring new things in? Ya subhanallah, my brother, my miskeen brother, listen to me. Once you have encompassed all of the sunnah and you're doing everything from the established, authentic sunnah, then we can talk about other things.